yes, it's difficult, but it's totally doable. It's totally possible. Uh, and, 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 so, and so I'm hopeful you'll make it through. Um, inside the U.S. Embassy is a great resource. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's put out uh, by uh, the American Foreign Service uh, Association. And it's a great resource into how an embassy works. Right. So I think that would be uh, very, very uh, useful. That's certainly what I used. Um, I also uh, would say, well, <laughs> I, I took the test a long time ago, so you have to forgive me. Uh, but uh, ARCO, uh, the publishing house ARCO put out, back then at least, put out a, um, a, a how to get, you know, how to take the exam, how to pass the exam book um, uh, that, that, that I uh, devoured. Uh, and, and it was uh, uh, quite uh, helpful. But I think more so than anything, um, the day-to-day the -day reading, the day-to-day -day absorption of, of, of some, you know, some sophisticated journals, foreign affairs journal, um, you know, the, the economist, uh, you know, obviously the big newspapers, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, et, et cetera. Um, that, that sort of consistent reading and understanding what the issues are um, really, really helps. One, because, it, you know, that's ultimately what we're looking for. We're looking for people who are relatively conversant on a number of issues on a number of, you know, politics, economics, history, um, you know, culture, American uh, world uh, uh, culture. Uh, and, and the more you just sort of have that being part of your DNA, uh, I think it's, it's, it's not going to be a jolt to take the written exam. And I, I don't think it would be a jolt, especially when you combine that with the, um, uh, with the uh, inside the U.S. Embassy uh, book. Uh, that you'll find the oral exam won't, won't be that much of a jolt uh, either. Uh, so, so that's one in terms of understanding the issues, but also the writing. For me, I really can't stress that enough. Uh, this is something where, uh, you know, an, or an organization of 73,000 people, we live and die uh, on, on the written word, whether that be a cable, whether that be a memo, uh, or even just an email. Uh, decisions are made mostly uh, on paper uh, or, you know, written. And, and, and so the ability to write concisely, the ability to write um, uh, compellingly, dispassionately when necessary uh, as well, uh, is, is, is so, so crucial. Uh, and and that, will, that will be closely reviewed uh, for, the, uh, for the written exam, um, well, I don't know anymore. It's, again, shows you how long ago I took the exam. Uh, you know, if the written component uh, of the Foreign Service uh, exam is in the, uh, I'm sorry, if the essay component of the Foreign Service exam is in the written phase or in the oral phase, I don't know where it is now. Uh, but but that but that writing well, writing clearly, writing compellingly, uh, will will pay dividends there. It'll pay dividends uh, in the uh, in the uh, process for being selected for the Pickering and, and Rangel Fellow. The other thing to do is, is to just practice writing one paragraph, you know, pithy, uh, you know, summaries of relatively long articles. You know, take a, you know, four or five page foreign affairs journal article and just summarize it in one paragraph. See, you know, see if you can do that. And do the same thing verbally as well in terms of your oral communication. Think through think through what your arguments are, sort of have in your mind as you um, are, are preparing for an interview um, or you, you, know, you know, for the Pickering or Rango Fellows or uh, you know, for the oral exam, uh, have in your mind your intro, your three supporting arguments and your conclusion. Be able to think like that. Be able to think about what the counter arguments are. Uh, I, I think that, that, that to me is probably more important than just finding a book that'll help you pass the exam. Um, because I think, uh, you know, there are some of those elements. I mean, you know, this is, a, this is an exam and, and this is a lifestyle that I think is built on a pattern, a pattern of, of, of thinking, a pattern of living. And again, the thinking is not 
um, you know, singular. Uh, you know, we, we come from all different walks of life, but the people who get in the Foreign Service uh, and, and actually uh, uh, succeed, excel uh, in the Foreign Service are, are intellectually curious. Um, uh, they are, are people who want to just keep absorbing information. Uh, they want to find multiple sources uh, uh, of that information. Uh, and generally speaking, they are uh, competent both uh, in the written word as well as uh, orally. Uh, so you want to work on those skills now, you know, do practice, uh, you know, speeches uh, in, in front of people in the mirror just to check your composure, you, you know, look at how, uh, you know, your body movements are. These are all the sorts of things uh, that are sort of the micro elements when it comes to the oral e exam uh, for the Foreign Service. Uh, I think generally people, generally speaking, the Foreign Service is, is, is looking for assertive, but humble people, assertive, and, and that you're not gonna, you know, just let people walk all over you, but you're not gonna be the domineering, my word or, you know, or, or no one's word. Uh, so you're assertive, you're humble, you're intellectually curious.